Welcome back, everybody. We're still, you know, in the middle of this level. I didn't move, like, at all until you got back so you could see what was going on here. Not too much. I'm still... I was crawling backwards. And, like, now, like, okay. I usually do this a few episodes in, right? And... It's where, it's where I just, like, pointlessly gripe on a game just to make content. I mean, shit. Anybody can do that. There are channels dedicated to griping about video games. So, here's my one or few gripes about this game. One, the controls are a bit dated. That, you can't really do anything about it. It just is, is how it be. Um, two... With how linear it is, they really wanted you to get that replay value and the fact that you have to backtrack in most areas. Um, what the fuck do I do in this situation? What do I- what? I- do, Is there another- uh? <laughs> Take the high ground. No, don't. Don't even. Um, yeah, the controls, you'll be using fucking circle on something, like you'll jump and use circle, and it just won't do it. Also, enemy AI is ridiculous, if I do say so myself. Mostly for the fact that, like, you try to creep up behind it, and then the motherfuckers... That's nice. So, I don't think, like, can I jump on this? Oh, I can. Okay. Cool. And good. Um, but then where do I go after this? Because I sure as shit can't make it over there. And there's really nowhere for me to... Because that, that skull doesn't, that rope doesn't want to... Okay, so, uh, basic level design, right? Like, it, it's good for the most part. Then there are outliers to that, obviously, as there are anything. But this one, where it literally makes you have to die, I guess you could jump down there and then go quite literally all the way back through the entire world, like, level, which if I got a game over, would have been the case. Oh! But no, don't worry, the last checkpoint was all the way over here. Um, <laughs> so yes, controls and level design are definitely dated. Again, can't really do anything about that. The game is like fucking 17 years old. I can't fault it for any of those things. Except I am, so get the fuck over it. Um, but other than that, I think that w like the problems that this first game had, like... The story's fine. It's the, you know, thing is Rackamagookus, all the pages, blah, yada yada, blah, 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 bullshit. Right? So, you get, you got that. That's fine. That story's fun. It's whimsical, right? Like, that's what the kids want these days. I whacked that guy before he even had a chance. No, it's like, it's good. You're playing a sneaky thief that's not Metal Gear Solid. Even better, right? Like, those games are fun, but they're also not for children. <laughs> I want to go down there and get the bottles. So we're going to do just that, and it's going to take me forever to get back. Son of a bitch. Well, this is what you fuckers signed up for, right? Um, so, I just, I will say, what the first game doesn't do which like yes is very the the levels like as i've as i've said a myriad of times now oh wait have we been here before that was sarcasm because we've been exclusively here in this level um 
the things that this game didn't do to its fullest. Which is a, a bit. I mean, it was the first game in the series, so they're just trying shit out. Sucker Punch was like a relatively, I think, new studio. I think this might have been their, like, only game? Then they went on to make Infamous, which is fan-fucking-tastic. Um, they also then, you know, made the the second and third games, which are, in my opinion, much better. And I think that, like, the reason this one, like, I like it, right? It's one of my favorite game series. But the reason why I don't, I don't acclaim this one to all that much <laughs> well this this needed some love here I don't know what's going on with that um yes it's the first in the series it it set the like it uh, it set the tone and was the base so like it was the beginning of it right you can't really you, you can't you can't say anything about it not setting up a good foundation for the rest of the games because they did absolutely did I mean I would honestly have to say that the second game is probably my favorite out of all of them um, because they took what worked in the first one and then improved on everything they gave you like, I think you can control your allies in it. Like, you get to play as Bentley and Murray instead of just Sly. You, they're, like, the the world is m much bigger. It's, it's more open world than the rest of them. Which is, like, that alone is enough for me to... To like that game more. All I heard was scratching and shit behind me. I was like, what just happened? Um... Oh my... There we go. Oh, bummer that the fucking two were there. Bentley, let me do it. Alright. Five. Seven. One. Dope. Okay. But no, the world is like, it, it feels much more open. Instead of just kind of like going from world to world, there's actually. Ooh. Oh, okay. Cool. Leave a calling card. Always have to have a calling card. Every master thief has a calling card. I mean, that's just how it goes. Um. Ugh. But, um. You can play as your allies. Like, the the worlds are much more in-depth as to, like, you feel as though that you're exploring one area and not a, a, an overworld type thing that takes you to various levels that you then explore and complete. No, it feels like it's all a part, like, it's all together in it. Um, which is what, I, I love the game for that, that one choice. Oh, another one of these. A ghastly voyage. Ugh, okay. And we're on a ship? Or a... Like a... A boat? Okay. You know what? I can't fault this game for being creative. I just, like... I don't... I sometimes don't understand the things that it does. That's it. What's wrong with that? I just don't get where, like, the... 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 Fucking... <laughs> like gun laser shooting hover bike in the Haitian swamps don't quite know where that comes from 
Is Haiti known for its jetpack scooters that also shoot laser beams? I don't, I honestly don't think that they are. But I mean, but what do I know, right? This is like some arcade game ki like type shit, which I do, I do enjoy because the, the whole game kind of has this, this feeling of like a comic book. And so what's, what's like in the same vein as comic books, right? Oh, well, you can just go around and shoot ghosts on a laser scooter arcade style. Like, this is definitely that, like, fucking, um, dual, like, joystick type of fucking gameplay that you would only find in an arcade. Or in other shooters like this. Like, not necessarily bullet hell games, but... I mean, kind of in the same vein, I suppose. Like, you could, you could find it in like a weird Galaga type game. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just ectoplasm? Whoops! Good thing I have horseshoes. Yes! Yes! No, okay, I was about to call baloney on that one. Ooh, this is a lot of them. Bah, ghosties. Okay, that sucks. But whatever. <laughs> Once you break one, it gets exponentially easier. I would hope. Maybe if I aimed at the thing. Come on, fucking hit the thing. Also, traveling backwards in this sucks. And then this is easy. <laughs> hey look the key a key <laughs> nice but I mean other than all those things that I've griped on this game is still I one of my favorites like favorite series and it, it wouldn't be a favorite series if the like the first game in it was good I I don't know too many games that would that would have that so i think we just have down home cooking left yeah six there's usually seven so look we we'll do down home cooking and find ms ruby in the next episode so hey if you like this episode go ahead and click that like button if you want to see more episodes from me go ahead and click that subscribe button and until then i will see you in the next episode see you then God damn it. I want to finish this game so we can just play the second one. <laughs>